Hi guys, it's me Ty, and I'm back with another unboxing. This time around, it's with Nendoroid number 354, Toka Yadagami, from the anime Data Live. Now, if you've seen my November haul video, you guys know that I've been dying to open up this box since the moment I got it. And uh, I received this one from the European online store, uh, Arconia. Yeah, that was the first time I tried them out, and they were okay. I'll put a link to them in the description box. But anyway, um... If you knew, um, saw that video, also you would know Toka is one of my favorite characters. And yes, I know I say that about nearly every Nendoroid I unbox, but yeah, she really is like close to the top of that list. Um, I love everything about this character, and I especially love the purple coloring in her outfit. I don't know if you can tell from here. Um, but yeah, you see, as you can see, she has purple throughout everything, like her hair, her skirt, her top, even on her weapons and effects. Yeah, she's a cool character, and Good Smile Company really did a good job with her sculpt. Okay, sorry guys, um, I've had a number of distractions and interruptions today, and you don't know how many times I've had to reshoot this video due to, you know, just different interruptions. Anyway, so I'll continue on, and uh, like I said, here's the front of the box. Here's the top, where her sword sandal fawn. Here's the bottom of the box, her, and you can see... Um, some of her effects. Here's from this side. You see her on the bottom here, which is a really cute pose and showing the screen of the dating sim right here. And uh, up here again, uh, what was on the bottom with the effect. And this side, we have her again with her sword and down here with her sword slashing with the sword effect. And here we have her on the back, which is just a reiteration of the poses that's on the different sides. It's bottom, back. Okay, let's get into it. I don't know how well you guys can see her. Um, my sunlight is fading fast, but I'll try to get her into focus. Okay, and I'm back. Hopefully I can get through the video this time. Like I said, there's been a number of distractions and tonight is New Year's Eve and I was hoping to finish this box unboxing before um, well, I have guests coming over in a couple of hours. So I was hoping to get this done and do like one last unboxing before 2015 hits. So um, hopefully let me get through this right now. Um, like I said, here's the inside of the box. Unlike the purple on the outside, sorry, the inside is pink, and with like the newer boxes, it has uh, her number in the back. Remember that kind of threw me off when um, I unboxed Yuzura and Senna, and they had the old style. Well, yeah, here's the number back. Here is the instructions. Sorry. And here is Toka and all her stuff. You can see here the face plates and extra hands on the bottom, the effects, her and her sword. Now, she doesn't have as many accessories as some of the other Nendoroids have, but I think she has an okay amount. Okay. First up is the standard Nendoroid base. Um, I'm going to show you this because in this pack there's a bunch of extra little pieces. Uh, one that looks like this. Um, sorry. Can you see that? Oh, oh and it fell and hit the floor. Um, instead of a curved arm. She has a straight one with a little piece off the edge. And that's not going to focus. I don't know how well you guys can see that. See? In the top. And it spins. Oh. <laughs> Mine popped off. It's not broken though. It just fits right back in. Her extra neck piece. 
and another one of those skinny arm things that I dropped before. And now we have the base, which is standard for all Nidoids. Okay. First base plate up is her yelling face. She's like screaming and looks really angry and fierce. Love it. And you see her um, kind of purple eyes. Second up is her sad blushing face. The kind she, if you've seen the anime, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it, but yeah, she has this expression often. It's a really cute expression. Uh, we have a fist hand. I know you can see it with the hole in the center to hold her sword with a she was who has a purple glove on um, her other hand to hold another sword or whatever with a glove an extra bent arm uh, keep dropping stuff sorry guys extra bent arm with her like arm gauntlet thingies on and shoulder pad. We have the slash effect for her sword, which is so cool and cute because it's got like translucent, it's translucent and purple on top to tip it off. Um, and this will fit over the sword. Sorry guys. There it is. We have um, her screen. Um, it asks, uh, and this is not focusing at all. I apologize for that. Um, if you've seen the the anime, it's it's as if he, when the main hero deals with the girls, he it's like a dating sim game almost. So they have the questions pop up, and I'm not quite sure right now what this says because it's all in Japanese and I don't remember what the questions were. Um, but yeah, here it is. So again, it's translucent like everything else. Here's Toka Sword Sandal Fawn. I love it. You see the jewel like right here? It's really cute. Here's the other side of it. Um, and her handle of it. And I really wish this camera would focus. I swear I'm gonna get a new one soon. Oh uh, um here's like another effect piece. Kind of like a twirling effect piece. See it from the side, like with everything else, is translucent, with uh, tipped in purple. It's really cool. And last but not least, we have Toka herself. Wow! Oh my gosh, guys, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, and she's a thick Nendoroid. Like, look how wide it is compared to like. Well, I don't want to pull. Oh. Here's a, say, Senna. Here's the thickness of Senna with her hair. Here's the thickness of Toka. You see she has a Toka. lot of hair in the back. She's huge. Like, I mean, yeah, this is the sitting down pole, so don't go by height. But, wow. Toka has a lot of hair. And see, this part is actually articulated. And then she has this bottom row of hair. So you see her po um, her ponytail. Oh wow, this is so cool. You see all like the purple and the gold tones onto it. I wish it would show up better. Um, if I had better sunlight, I had sunlight when I first started this video, and it's now gone after all these interruptions. But wow, let me take this plastic off. Let me see how does it come apart. Oh, okay. See her hair piece comes off in the back. And take the plastic and just be careful because you saw the spin. <laughs> this can not really come off, but yeah, be careful of that. Oh, wow, guys. She's amazing. I love her. Oh, my gosh. They're so good with the armor. Do you see like her chest piece in the front? It's like a 
pinkish color. I know it's kind of hard to see. Like, uh, yeah. See her arms with the gauntlet? And this is not focusing at all. I apologize again. Um, she's so cool. Take this plastic piece off. And even with the underskirt, you see this level here. Oh, this comes off also. Wow. Be careful, guys. So many little pieces come off. This is in a skirt. And to make her skirt layered of armor. And the bottom has that same, it's slightly more opaque, but it's that transparent look on the bottom underskirt because that's how the character is in the anime. And they, I'm glad they stayed true to the character. And here's her legs. Everything is like purple, light purple, pink, and gold. It's so cool and white. Uh, so here she is again. You see her purple eyes. And like I said, this character, this Nendoroid is huge, guys. They really did a good job with her. I love it. Okay, let's check out some poses. Okay, just to show you guys, this is the reason why Toka comes with um, a straight arm rather than like the usual C curve we see on other Nendoroids. Um, it's because she has so much detail and has so much hair to her that it would really get in the way of any regular bar. Um, so that's why it's the straight bar. But overall, it, it actually went in a lot better than if you've seen my Homura version video. Ugh, that one's a nightmare. But this one went in not too bad. Here's more of her hair you can see without the faceplate. Um, I did have a tough time removing um, this is the faceplate this Nendoroid came with in the box. Mine was very stiff in there. I almost thought it was glued and then I finally got it out. I don't know why it was like that. Uh, yeah, but it came out. Okay, and first close up is is Toka's blushing face from the scene where uh, the main guy, Shido, um, when his, the questions first pop up in the dating sim of how he has to handle her. And as you see, her face is so cute. Like, I love it. You see, like, her blushing. She looks, like, so sad and embarrassed and overwhelmed. And, oh, Shido, for me, why? You know, kind of thing. Oh, she's so cute. I love this pose. And they really did a good job on... Uh, like I said, matching the questions with the Nendoroid. And like I said in the earlier with the box opening, um, she doesn't come with as many parts to recreate scenes as other Nendoroids. But that's probably because this Nendoroid is so well made, so well sculpted, has so much detail put into her costume. Yeah, I can see they put all their focus on this and not on other pieces. And I'm glad they did because she came out fantastic. She's really cool. Look at that pose. Look at her eyes in this pose. That's awesome. And here's Toka with her sword ready to do battle. Now, I don't know if you saw guys from before, but with her sword, I showed you the jewel and I showed you like the silver overtone on it. Um, if you see the edging on this sword, it's also that translucent material that's on all the other pieces. It's really cool effect. I really like it. Like I said, Good Small Company did a really good job with this Nendoroid. Yeah, you can barely even see it because it's, like I said, the translucent edging along the sword. It's a really cool effect though, guys. Can you see it now? Oh, oops, sorry. Oh, yeah, really cool effect. And this is just the standard face she had on um, out of the box. Still really cool. I gotta say, guys, I, don't, I love all the Nendoroids I have because you know, they're, they're all Nendoroids of characters I like, but this is by far my favorite Nendoroid I have now. And here we have Toka shooting out her magic or her powers or whatever she is, whatever she shoots out at um, her enemies. Um, and this is a cool pose. I mean, you see she has a yelling face where it's her, she's battle ready. And here's the effect. Um, for those who aren't sure how to put it in, what you do is that uh, clear piece that I showed you guys earlier it has oh well sorry I should have showed you this with the question sign but either way it has a another ball in the end and it fits into a hole at the sorry guys 
it fits at a, in a hole at the bottom of the effect. Now that it's in, it's slightly hard for me to get back out. Um, but yeah, it would clip in that way, and then the bottom bent piece of that clear part would just fit into one of the holes on the base. And I had it on this one. No, I had it on... Uh, I forgot which one I had it on. Yeah, I think I had it on this one. Sorry, I had it on this one to... Um, so that the bottom can fit into her hand and kind of make it like it's shooting from her hand. Yeah, not looking up at me, Toka. Yeah. But yeah, that's how it's done. Okay, and the same thing would have been done with the sign. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys, but as you can see, it's the same clear piece. And the ball end fits into a hole in the back of the sign. And again, the bent part is what you would stick into the base. And for the last pose I'm going to show is Toka's slashing. A pose which uses what utilizes the slash effect on her sword. This is really cool, and again, it uses her screaming battle face, yell face, angry face, whatever face you want to use it as. This is an awesome pose, and with the translucent elements on the effect, it's really cool. It really glances off the sword nicely. Really great pose. Here I'll show you real quick how it's done. Um, basically it was just that extra piece and it detaches from the hilt that way. You see uh, has a little translucent peg on the end. I don't know if you can see that. And it fits right in this way. Like I said, really cool pose. All in all, guys, I'm so happy with this underwear. I'm so glad I got it. It was like last minute decision. And she's perfect. Like, I love it. Like, she's so well detailed. And like I said, out of all the Nendoroids, which I love all of them, she's my favorite now. Just excellent pose. Excellent. Just well made. Perfect colors on it. Great character. Cute all the way around. I love it. Like I said, she doesn't come with a lot of stuff, but with looking this great. This well sculpted, she really doesn't need them. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.